So I'm just checking to make sure you're gonna take the main course up a notch. Is there anything on this menu that is not swimming in gravy? Hang on, I'll go ask the chef. Uh, it's a simple question. Is there or is there not anything edible on this menu? <laughs> hey, I didn't ask him about dessert yet. Hey, pal, what's your policy on making special orders? All right, Buster. That's it. You want a special order? Then you make it. I quit. No, but I... Uh, you know, I try and I try. There's just on. no respect for anyone with vision. That, that's it. There's just nothing I can but do I... about it. Oh, wait a second. Please don't go. Three, four combos, extra bacon on the side, two no, chili uh, cheese samplers, a basket of liver and onion rings, a catch of the day, and a steak cut in the shape of a trout. You got all that, honey? Three liquors wearing pants, plate of hot air, basket of grandma's breakfast, and change the bull to a gill. Got it. What's going on? There's no time to explain. We gotta get out of here. What is he doing in there? Come on. In a minute, I'm still hungry. Oh, Cusco. Okay, I'll make it simple for you. I'll have a spinach omelet with wheat toast. You got it? Can do. What's taking so long? Pick up. Crunk, what are you doing? Kinda busy here. Why am I not surprised? Your order's up. Oh, oh well. While you're at it, make me the special. And hold the gravy. Check. Pick up. You know what? On second thought, make my omelet a meat pie. Meat pie, check. Crunk. Can I order the potatoes as a side dish? I'll have to charge you full price. <sighs> hey, how about a side of potatoes, my buddy? You got it. You want cheese on those potatoes? Thank you, Kronk. Cheddar will be fine. Cheddar spuds coming up. Spuds, yes. Cheese now. Hold the cheese. No, I want the cheese. Cheese it is. Cheese me no likey. Cheese up. Cheese in. Oh, come on, make up your mind. Okay, okay. On second thought, make, make my, my potatoes, potatoes a salad. <laughs> Excuse me. You see anything? No problem, hun. We do that all the time. One, two, three, four! Happy, happy birthday, and all of us to you. We wish it was our birthday so we could party too. Happy, happy birthday, and all your dreams are true. We wish it was our birthday so we could party too. It's your birthday! What are you doing? There's two people in there looking for you. What? A big guy and a skinny old woman. Wait, was this woman scary beyond all reason? Oh, yeah. That's Eastman Kong! I'm saved! Trust me, they're not here to save you. They'll take me back to the palace. Thanks for your help. You've been great. I can take it from here. No, no, you don't understand. They're trying to kill you. Kill me? Their whole world revolves around me. No, I can't let you. What? What? Oh, oh, I get it. What? You don't want to take me back to the palace. You want to keep me stranded out here forever. No! This has all been an act, and I almost fell for it. Will you just listen to me? No, no, you listen to me. All you care about is your, your stupid hilltop. What? You don't care about me, now just get out of here. Go! But, but... Go on, get out of here! Fine! Mm. Oh, this entire mess is all your fault. What'd I do? If you hadn't mixed up those poisons, Cusco would be dead now. There'd be no more diversions until we track that llama down and kill him. Said I was sorry, can't just let it go. Not even on your birthday. Cusco must be eliminated. The Empire will finally be rid of that useless slug. Well, you got a point. No one really seems to care that he's gone, do they? Pacha! Pacha! So, this is where you came in. See, just like I said, I'm the victim here. I didn't do anything, and they ruined my life and took everything I had. Hey, give it a rest up there, will you? What? I'm just telling them what happened. Who are you kidding, pal? They saw the whole thing. They know what happened. Well, yeah, but... but... Just leave me alone. <gasps> the peasant! At the diner. He didn't pay his check. It's the peasant who I saw leaving the city who disappeared into the crowd with Cusco in the back of his cart. <gasps> he must have taken him back to his village, so if we find the village, we find him, and if we find him, we find Cusco. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. Isma. What?! Oh! This had better be good! Ugh. Where we were standing on the cliff, the ground started to bumble. My own suggestion started to go grab me before I fell. Do you believe that? You know, call me crazy for following this guy all the way out here, but as much as he tries to deny it, I know there's some good in him. Besides, I couldn't just leave him out here all alone. He's a lousy llama. I mean, a really lousy llama. Hey, listen, Pacha. You know, what I said to you back at the diner, that, that, I, I, I didn't really... So, you tired of being a llama? Yes! <laughs> okay, we 
We're just gonna stop at the house and get some supplies. And we'll be on our way, right? Right. Hey there, Pacha. Hey, you know, you just missed your relatives. My relatives? Yeah, we just sent them up to your house. What did they look like? Well, you see, there was this big guy and this older woman who was, uh, well, uh, how would you describe her? Eh, hey, scary beyond all reason. Yeah, that's it. So, remind me again how you're related to Pacha. Why, I miss the brother's wife's stepniece's great aunt. <laughs> Twice removed. Uh-huh. Isn't that right, Crunk? Ninety-nine monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. You know, I am so sorry that you had to come all this way, but... Uh -huh. As I said to you before, you may recall, mm -hmm. Pacha is not here. I'll be sure and tell him you came by. Oh, would you please? That would be just great. Oops. <laughs> Silly me. No, no. Allow me. He's hiding something. When I give the word, we search the house. Okay, but I still have 94 monkeys to go. So, while we're waiting for Paka... Pacha. Yeah, uh, oh, oh, yes. Um, perhaps we can have a tour of your lovely home. You know, why don't you just come back when Pacha gets home? I'm sure he'd love to show you the room. Well, excuse me, won't you? I think I left something in the oven. Well, this is my variation of double dutch on the signal. We switch places. Crunk, it's time. Okay. <sighs> so we have to get back to the palace, find the lab, and change him back. Hi there. <laughs> um, that was him. Whoops. You know what? I don't believe you're really my great aunt. You're more like my great, great, great. Go, I'll stall them long enough for you two to get a head start. Thanks, honey. You have a lovely wife. They're both very pretty. Great, 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 great. All right. I you through? Great, great aunt. So, where were we? Listen, sister, we are not leaving until... I show you the house, of course. Hey, was it a good idea to leave your family with those two? Oh, don't worry. They can handle themselves. What do you mean the door is stuck? Uh, try jiggling the handle. There is no handle in here. There's not? Are you sure? All right. I've had enough of this. Tell us where the talking llama is, and we'll burn your house to the ground. Uh, don't you mean or? <sighs> Tell us where the talking llama is, or we'll burn your house to the ground. Well, mm -hmm. which is it? That seems like a pretty crucial conjunction. <sighs> That's it, Crunk. Break the door down. Break it down? Are you kidding me? This is Ann Carb Mahogany. I don't care, you fool. Get out of my way. I'll break it down myself. A one. Okay, kids, you know what to do. Two. Right, Mom? Three. Okay, children, on your mark, get set, go! Stop it, you little brats! Huh? Ow! Oh, there they go, Crunk! Uh, they're getting away! <laughs> well, I had a great time. Let's not wait until the next family reunion to get together. I, uh, I gotta run. Okay, why does she even have that lever? Please remain seated and keep your arms and legs at all times. Hmm? What does it look like? I don't know, just keep looking. Over here! It has to be one of these. Lions? Tigers? Bears? Oh my. Looking for this? No, it can't be. How did you get back here before us? How did we, Kronk? Well, you got me. By all accounts, it doesn't make sense. Oh, well. Back to business. <laughs> okay, I admit it. Maybe I wasn't as nice as I should have been. But, he's my. do you really want to kill me? Just think of it as you're being let go. That your life's going in a different direction. That your body's part of a permanent outplacement. <laughs> hey, that's kind of like what he said to you when you got fired. I know. It's called a cruel irony, like my dependence on you. I can't believe this is happening! Then I bet you weren't expecting this. No! <gasps> no! Aha! Uh. Oh, oh, okay. 